Hey, I'm Nick Valesky with Utah State University Extension's Integrated Pest Management. Greenhouse sanitation is super important for disease management. It's important year-round, but especially important at the start of a new growing season. When entering a greenhouse, be sure to brush off all soil from your shoes. You can use floor mats, a floor bath, or just brush off the dirt. Disinfect services such as greenhouse benches, potting stations, containers, and other equipment before transplant production. Power wash or scrub benches, walls, and floors with soapy water, then rinse. If you're using pots, cells, plugs, and flats, be sure to disinfect them in chlorine bleach based products. Dip containers into a chlorine water mix, about 3.5 ounces per one gallon of water. Cover containers with a tarp so they stay moist for at least 20 minutes. Lastly, wash the flats with water or a Q salt solution to eliminate the chlorine. Any weeds grown inside or outside the greenhouse should be removed as they can serve as an alternate host for disease and insects during the winter and early spring months. Quaternary ammonium chloride salts, hydrogen dioxide, hydrogen peroxide, and peroxidic acid-based products are labeled to control fungal, bacterial, and viral plant pathogens. During production, be sure to regularly remove potting residue and plant debris not being used to ensure continued sanitation. Any transplant brought into the greenhouse from an outside source should be inspected for potential insect and disease problems. There is a variety of common greenhouse diseases in Utah to be on the lookout for. A few examples include damping off, which is caused by fungi such as Pythium, Pythothera, and Rhizocotonia. Damping off attacks roots at the base of the crown, causing young, young seedlings to fall over. Botrytis is a gray mold that can cause stem cankers and irregular brown spotting on the dense canopy of leaves. Altenaria blight causes leaf spotting and stem caker, cankers on young vegetable seedlings. Most destructive when conditions are very moist and the seedling foliage has become bigger. When applying fungicides or insecticides, always read the instructions and labels. Often, regulations are different for inside of a greenhouse as opposed to the field. Frequent hand washing with clean water and soap is always a good habit for when working inside the greenhouse. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any more questions, find out more resources or contact us at utahpest.usu.edu and be sure to connect with us on Facebook and Instagram.